Hi, I'm Mark Gordon. On Monday, um, December 12th, 2011, um, just after the market close here, um, about 1.30 Pacific time, and uh, taking a look at uh, gold, this is the GLD. And we had been setting up in a nice flag formation, and we were uh, grinding tighter and tighter. And I had said in my uh, previous broadcast that uh, we were going to have a re resolution of some sort. Um, I thought it might be to the upside, but we actually broke to the downside here. Lost support of this blue line, the 50-day moving average, and support of this lower trend line, which had been in place since October. So um, we did break through that on a big healthy gap, down 2.67% uh, uh, today. Big gap down uh, uh, on the open, and then a nice tight trading range. And we found support here at the lower Bollinger Band. Um, and uh, Bollinger Bands are a mathematical algorithm designed to keep the prices within those bands 95% of the time. Uh, today the, the volume was heavy, um, uh, slightly above average here, but a lot uh, uh, heavier than uh, on Friday. So this is clear distribution, uh, very scary here. Um, the good news is though, is when you go to a weekly chart, and here we are with the weekly chart. When you go to this chart, you see that we are at the lower trend line on the weekly chart, which has been in place for over a year and a half. And uh, it is down there now testing it. Uh, will it hold? We don't know. But, uh, you know, it has held in the past uh, every time it's challenged that. So, um, uh, you know, your, your next uh, support line, should we break that, is just down below here at the 40-week moving average is at about 158, 158. And uh, we closed it today at uh, uh, 162, 161.96 to be exact. So support coming here just below here if we do break that. Um, so a lot of your longer term traders will be looking uh, 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 to support uh, uh, you know, gold at this level, the GLD, and especially if it starts to rise off of this. Um, uh, traders will usually put a stop uh, under here and then as it starts to rise play that rise bringing more and more investors back into it so um, uh, on a bit of a positive note let's see if we can hold this line here uh, that would be a very bullish uh, sign for GLD and hopefully we would do what we have done many times in the past is is bounce off of this line and come right back up so that would be the best case scenario obviously now silver got clocked today too. This is the SLV down 2.68%. Uh, so just al almost exactly uh, uh, as much as gold got clobbered. Um, uh, interestingly enough, uh, uh, the uh, sort of a flag formation that's been in place uh, uh, it was not really broken too bad. Uh, we did dip below it a bit here uh, on this lower trend line, uh, but did not get down to the Bollinger Band here and then closed uh, towards the highs here uh, after the gap down and uh, inside this flag formation. So um, I would say this flag formation is still in effect and uh, volume was lighter, although it was a pickup in volume uh, from Friday. So uh, silver uh, uh, chart wise um, uh, acting a little stronger today, but all in all the chart on silver uh, is weaker than gold because we are now uh, down below this 50 day moving average, the blue line. And, uh, and the 21 day moving average, this red line. And the red line just crossed the blue line today. So some negatives are definitely going on short term for silver, but still in a consolidation sideways pattern. So short term traders uh, might look at, at this uh, 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 sort of holding inside the, uh, the range here as a positive and play a move back up here to the upper trend line here. Uh, uh, just, you know, a point, point and a half uh, move. Uh, that would certainly be a trade for the short term. Looking at a weekly chart of the SLV, you can certainly see this wedge formation here uh, uh, tightening up. We're at the end of this wedge, it looks like, according to this chart here. So a resolution to the upside or downside uh, certainly uh, is uh, looking like it's going to take place here. Um, uh, to the upside uh, here, um, resistance uh, certainly comes in at the 10-week moving average, which is at about 31.81. Downside, uh, the next support level um, would be this previous low here at 29.83, and then again at 29.14, and then all the way down here uh, to the Bollinger Band, uh, lower Bollinger Band here, which is at uh, 25.55, 25.55.
and then uh, oh I forgot about the support here at 2741 so these previous little lows could act as a little bit of a, of a, a place uh, for a pause here uh, should we break to the downside and moving on to stocks now this is the SPY the uh, uh, spider uh, for the S&P 500 and um, down about one and a half percent today uh, on uh, light volume just about the same volume we had on Friday and uh, getting support here at this red line the 21 day moving average we are above the 50 day moving average this blue line which has crossed the green dotted line the 100 day moving average to the upside so a uh, uh, nice little bullish move there and you'll notice how the blue line the 50 day moving average is heading higher um, <clears throat> And finding support here was a good sign. We have been waffling in a trading range here for the last several weeks. We did get up here to the upper trend line here, which has been offering uh, overhead resistance here. So um, possibly setting up to try and challenge this line again. Should we break to the upside? Uh, we have a clear run here to the upper Bollinger Band at about 129.50. 129.50. Okay, so stocks uh, kind of still stalling here um, after uh, uh, running up to the uh, upper trend line here and uh, certainly above the 50-day moving average and uh, moving sideways here. So that's it. Uh, good luck trading, everybody.